That fire is literally roaring right now. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video, we're gonna kick off Vlogmas 2021. I can't believe it's that time of year already. Feels like this year flew by. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you like what you see and mark your calendar because every Friday night, I go live right here on the YouTubes and I'd love a chance to hang out with you. Vlogmas this year is going to run from December 1st through December 25th and each day during that period of time I'm going to upload a video to YouTube. Each video that I upload is going to have a variety of topics from sewing and quilting projects to my favorite baking recipes, maybe just a little bit of tours of my new home and even status updates of the garage renovation and the progress that I'm seeing over there. In every video, I'm also going to do a little bit of unboxing fun for you. I'm going to open the day's item from the Cotton Cuts Notion Advent Calendar, as well as the Missouri Star Countdown Advent Calendar. It's called Jenny's Countdown to Christmas. There are packages in each one of these, and I'll share them with you. The Garage Renovation Project is a project that my husband and I are undertaking to convert our two-car attached garage into what I'm calling the ultimate quilter studio. We're going to rip out the drywall in there, re-insulate it, install a mini split so that it has its own dedicated heating and cooling system, put in some new lighting and some ultra plush, ultra comfy carpeting for underfoot. And of course, we can't forget about the lighting. We're going to supplement the recessed lighting with tons of windows so we've got a ton of natural light. In the end, this studio is going to be such an upgrade from the basement level studio that I had in our old home, and I can't wait to get started. I'm sad that we're going to lose our garage because it is a little nice to park my car in the garage and then walk from my car directly into the house without having to deal with rain, snow, heat, cold, none of that stuff. But I know I'm going to get a whole lot more use out of that garage as a quilting studio over a garage. Okay, so read between the lines here a little bit. I cherish my sewing machines more than my car because I'm putting them and their location above the car. The car gets to stay outside. You can handle it. The sewing machines get the new fresh room. This renovation project is supposed to take about three to four weeks. However, it could take as much as seven or eight, depending on supplies. We've already put in the order for all the windows and the doors and everything, so hopefully that won't hold us up too much, but it could. It would be great if everything could wrap by Christmas Day, which, if everything comes the way it used to come before all the COVID stuff happened, that's exactly when we would be wrapping. However, likelihood is that we'll be wrapping construction in January, February. So I won't be able to show you the entire conversion process during Vlogmas, but I can give you a good taste of what's happening. And I'll also bring you into a little bit of what I'm thinking about when I'm talking about storage, when I'm picking out furniture, when I'm making design choices. And of course, I'll be showing you what it looks like along the way. So that'll be a lot of fun, at least if you enjoy renovation projects without having to pay for them or dealing with whatever is going wrong. <laughs> you know how those HGTV shows go? Nothing ever finishes on time, on budget, without any surprises. Oh gosh, what am I signing up for? I guess we'll find out. So that's really all the content that I have for Vlogmas Day 1. I just wanted to kick off the series, let you know that I'm going to be uploading a video every day and what the content for that is going to look like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you ring that little bell to get notifications so that as I upload videos in the series, you'll be notified. All right, now let's get to the fun part and open our advent calendars. I can't wait to see what we got. Let's start with Cut and Cuts. By the way, as I open the Cotton Cuts box, I want to let you know, I know a few YouTubers out there got these boxes, and as soon as they got them, they opened the box and all of the contents inside. I have not done that. You can see from the close-up down here, this box is still closed. The tape is still on the tissue paper. I just opened it for the first time. I also have not cheated and as much as I may have wanted to, I haven't peeked at their videos to see what's inside. So we'll see what we've got. I can't wait. I'm going to rip the tape. 
and inside we have all of these packages with some documentation and the little card here says how to sew a scrunchie so we've got a pattern for sewing a scrunchie maybe i'll do that in one of my vlogmas days we also have a card for So Sweet, which is the brand new puzzle mystery quilt that is going to launch for sign up on this Friday, December 4th at 7 a.m. Central Time. Ah, I can't wait. You can visit cottoncuts.com slash get dash started to check out all of the different colorways, which you can see on this card. And I am actually putting right here on the screen in front of you. There are 14 total colorways this time around. And each of these little wheels that you see represent the fabrics fabrics that are in that colorway. The wedge that is in the 12 o'clock and the one o'clock or the one o'clock, two o'clock position, depending on how the wheel is skewed, are the predominant colors that will be in the quilt. The fabric in the seven slash eight o'clock position is your background and the fabric in the six o'clock position is the binding. Maybe that information will help you make a decision about which colorway you want to do. For me, I'm still struggling. I don't know if I want to do Able Skiver, Puff Puff, or Tiger Tail. I think I might be leaning towards Tiger Tail, but it really just depends on the day of the week because I like Puff Puff and I also like Able Skiver. Guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Use the code Becca so Sweet right here on the screen in front of you. If you sign up for a puzzle mystery quilt, I'll be doing a large right here on this channel. So grab one for yourself. If you use that code to let Cotton Cuts know that you heard about the mystery quilt from me, they're going to put a free gift in your package. You like free stuff, don't you? So use the code. Let's see what we got in day number one. The interesting thing about the Cotton Cuts package is all of them have just little stickers that have sayings on them. They're not actually numbered, so I'm just gonna grab one and we're gonna open it. Day number one says, stay sharp, and my guess is it's probably gonna be a pair of snips or scissors. Let's rip her open and find out. I was wrong. It is not a pair of snips. It is a little owl. Did I say that right? A-W-L. It's called a Quilter's Digit by Jill Lilly Studio. And you can use this to you kind of guide your fabric. Let me show you back here. Guide your fabric under the needle to keep your fingers away from your needle. So there are other uses for these things too. You can use them to help turn out your fabric or puff out your corners, all sorts of fun little things. I've also heard that these are actually really good in scoring and removing papers and foundation paper piecing. So we'll have to give that a try. All right, now for the behemoth, Jenny's countdown to Christmas. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what day one is. Let's open her up. Where do you open her up? Hello, open up. Ah, here it is. Oh, look, it still has the tape on the bottom. Hey, I'll use my new owl or pointer or quilter's digits to score that tape. Use number one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Take a look inside this box. Right on top is a cute little card that uh, says Merry Christmas from the Doan family. On the back of this little Christmas card, there's a letter from Jenny, and I'll just read it to you really quickly. It says, Dear Quilters, this holiday season, we want to invite even more of the magic of Christmas into your life with Jenny's Countdown to Christmas box. As children, it was easy to feel surprised by the gifts we unwrap, but nowadays, we can all use a little help with gifting, especially for ourselves. This exclusive advent box is filled with 25 hand-picked quilty items that were chosen especially for you. Each gift is unique, and I adore every single one for a different reason. I truly hope you love them as much as I do. Enjoy unwrapping them one day at a time and savor the holiday season with Missouri Star. You deserve it. I am grateful for kind, thoughtful quilters like you. You make the world a more beautiful place by being exactly who you are. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. Love, Jenny. That's such a kind note. All right, let's dive in. Gotta find day one. Ah, I found it. Okay, this is day number one.
we have a cute little snow globe that has the little Missouri star duck in it. Super cute. Look at him and it says Missouri star on the front. That's really kind of cute. I love it. So these are the two items that we got in our advent calendars today. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the snow globe from Missouri star and the quilters digit from Cotton Cuts. If you liked what you saw here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to turn on notifications, and please come on back on Friday nights when we sew live right here on YouTube. I'll see you guys all then. Bye.